I would like to give a special nail addict shout out to Exotica's Empire, Kathy Wellman, Queen Miss Chris 7, and Tracy's Nail World for being the first one to comment on my last video. Thank you ladies so, so much. Hey y'all, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sheena and if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into today's set. So I have Madame Glam's new November uh, collection, House of Giving, with eight new Silk Off gels that we are about to jump into today. So the first shade up is going to be Divine, Divine Glam, which is a brown Silk Off gel. Achieve divine beauty with this glamorous nail polish. It's creamy finish and dark shade add an ethical touch to your manicure, making you feel like a goddess. And y'all, I have been wanting a brown from Madame Glam for so long. And this brown is absolutely perfect. I just really, really love the tone of it. Like, it's kind of like dark, but then like not because I have some browns that are so dark that you really can't tell until you're like you're in light but this to me is like a perfect brown and I have wait been waiting for this and I am so excited to have it something about a brown is needed in your collection especially for fall so the next shade here is pure nature which is one of their green blue soak off gels Connect with the Earth's natural beauty using this earthy calming gel. Its serene shade brings the tranquility of nature to your fingertips, creating a sense of peace and balance. And y'all know, for some reason as well, greens get me especially these type of greens. And I like that they consider it to be a green blue soak off gel. It's really nice though. It definitely screams nature uh, to me. So the next shade that I am showcasing today is Autumn Aurora, which is a pink soak off gel. Capture the essence of the fall season with this unique shade, a peachy, peachy shade that reflects the power from within wrapping your nails in, in a comforting Aurora. So for me, this is my new perfect nude from uh, Madame Lamb. It is absolutely amazing. Um, and it definitely has that pink, peachy tone to it. Just very, very nice. I love that their their gel polishes are one coat coverage. That's like number one for me. Um, you know, always a nice application with a Madame Glam gel. And look at this beautiful shade. It's just so, so, so beautiful, y'all. So the next one is Milky White. And this one here is a beige silk off gel. D dive into the cosmic depths of this mesmerizing color, a dreamy milky white shade that adds a touch of celestial elegance to your manicure. So definitely for me, a like off whitish type situation. And I don't know how I feel about off white. I feel like off white is it's an okay color. You just have to, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I just woke up, but you have to know how to like pair it with different colors and like kind of just make it work. Anytime I think about like a milky shade, I think about like the uh, milk flower designs. Um, and I'm sure you can do more, but that's like the first thing that comes to my mind. But it's a very nice color. It gives kind of like a gray tint too. The next shade here is Astral Projection, and this one here is one of their blue silk off gels. Take a cosmic journey with this otherworldly nail polish. Its dark blue hues evoke the vastness of the universe, allowing your nails to shine like distant constellations. One thing I love, I love their descriptions of their polishes, and if y'all ever notice, every month I always try to read them as I'm like doing my uh, video and so I like to post for these they come out on the first of every month so 
posting on the first is ideal, but I just love that they take their time to do that. And I always want to read them because they sound so freaking cool. One of the best things about them is that for me, like I really love how they take their time to make just a little statement about each and every one of their colors. So the next color that I'm showing here is called Astro Pie, and I love the name first off, <laughs> but this is one of their orange soak off gels. Indulge in your sweet tooth and your love for astrology with this delightful gel polish. Its playful name and warm pie inspired color make it fun and delicious addition to your nail collection. So I actually do like that name. It's super, super cute. And this is like one of those little burnt orange type situations. And I have some polishes like this from the, uh, Madame Glam that are like burnt oranges, but they're not the same. So I definitely need to hurry up and get that comparison bit video out because like for me, I feel like if you're someone that just watches every month, you feel like you're seeing the same thing when you're not. So this next one is called Scorpio Season and it's a dark blue soak off gel. Embrace the intensity and mystery of Scorpio with this captivating color, a deep sultry shade that captures the essence of this enigmatic sign makes a bold statement. And this one here is really nice. This is a very nice dark blue I just love the death of this one. Um, I don't know if I would say it's screaming sort Scorpio season, but it is a very nice shade, as you can see here. And yeah, really, really nice. And the last shade is Purple Era, which obviously is a purple soak off gel. Transport yourself to an era of elegance and sophistication with this regal purple cream gel. Its timeless charm and rich hue will elevate your style to a new level, level of glamour. I am stumbling, but anywho, you got it. You saw it. <laughs> but really, really nice. Like, um, I, I typically don't go for darker purples. It's okay. This is really pretty though, but like... For me, I just think Halloween when I think of dark purples, but it's cute. It's a really nice uh, shade. One of the best things about Men of Glam is they're vegan, cruelty-free, hemorrhage-free, uh, just a very natural product, like very safe for anyone. But these are the first five here with just one coat and a top coat, and y'all can see just how absolutely gorgeous they are and these are the last three if you're interested in anything i will have everything linked down below but make sure to go check them out and use my discount code to save some coins so we're jumping into the set and to start i'm using autumn aura and y'all this is my new like new base from madam glam I really needed one really bad because I used to use Dreamer all the time. I don't know if you guys remember, but if you watch my videos, you know Dreamer was hands down a gel that I would always use when doing Gel X and I needed like a nude base. Dreamer was number one for me. Um, so it's pretty much on its end. Like there's nothing in the bottle. I try to use it on my daughter and yeah, it wasn't happening. So... This came just in time. I'm so excited to kind of finally finally get to show it because I've had it for a while. And, you know, of course, I can't showcase or use the products until they're actually released on the website. So I was anticipating this moment so that now I can use Autumn Aurora whenever I feel. And I just love this shade. I feel like it's a perfect nude. I like these type of nudes that are more deeper, darker, like... I do have like lighter nudes that I use as well that are okay. Like I have some rubber based gels from Madame Glam that are okay and I've used them as nail beds. Um, but I don't know that I like them so much to always kind of like grab them for that. Um, unless I'm doing like a design where it is like a nude base and I'm like drawing things on top. But if it's like a nude to use for like a French tip, yeah, I need something like this one here. I feel like. It just fits me better. Um, so I'm just going in and I'm applying a coat of uh, this on each of the nails. This is a pop-off set, um, which is why you don't see the nails prepped as much. Um, I'm taking them off as soon as the video is done. Um, but again, I'm going in with a layer of Autumn Aurora over all of the nails. 
um, and then I cure them for 60 seconds and then off camera I do another coat curing that for 60 seconds as well I started no noticing like lenties I always catch lenties like I try to make sure everything is clean and to put together before doing nail sets but I always seem to um catch lenties and actually y'all I didn't do this as like a peel off so for my peel off I normally use a peel off base you know apply them the normal gel like sway with like um a gel um and then go in with the nail I forgot for this one I use sticky taps if you can see on my thumb so it's like a little sticker you put under like your press-ons to wear them temporarily that's basically what I used to do this nail set so if anything looks a little raised or whatever, then that is why. Um, the nail tips I'm using today are the ones that I got off Amazon that I showed you guys in a previous uh, video, the, the real flimsy ones. I uh, used those for the set, being that I knew they were coming right back off. And again, I'll just let you finish watching me paint my thumb. And this is what the nails look like after the two coats were applied. Again, very nice. Like, I like nudes like this because I feel like if I wanted to walk out just so I could. So now I'm taking Madame Glam's Long Fine Liner Brush, one of my faves. I always use it. And I'm going in now and I'm going to create French tips with each of the colors. Well, I only got to use five because I only have five fingers. But I basically just wanted to showcase this set. Do something very nice, very simple, beginner friendly, something that everyone can do. I do like doing like intricate designs and like nail art and stuff like that. But sometimes we girls just want to see something simple that like realistically can be done by anybody. And so I don't have a problem with doing the beginner friendly simpler sets just because again, we are all here to learn. And we can teach each other by, you know, just starting off simple, starting off small and not, you know, really getting into all that portrait and fine art. But I do love to see me some fine art now. I ain't gonna lie. Anybody that can draw a character or um, just make a real beautiful, like, portrait on the nail, I'm for it. I love watching those kind of designs as well. So Astral Projection was the first one I decided to go with. This blue is just so absolutely gorgeous to me. I've never been a blue girl, but and I know I've said this a million times, but it just amazes me how I actually do like blue depending on the particular shade. So for my middle finger, I am using Pure Nature, and I'm doing the same thing. So I kind of lined them up to make sure... You know the French the smile line you know ends at the same level doing my T method like always going across with that line down the center so I know where the center is and then I'll go in and create my smile line from that center line I do use my nail art brush to kind of fill in around the sides and stuff so it's not so hard with the actual brush from the polish and once I get all of that filled in I typically always go in and grab the brush from the bottle sometimes i'll continue to use the nail art brush if it's like everything is gliding good and it feels good when i'm doing it i'll go ahead and use the nail art brush and continue that way but it is a lot faster if you take the brush from the actual polish so you see how i paint it up i paint up about that much and then i go in with the actual brush from the bottle to continue the rest and it works so perfectly so for these french tips i literally only had to do well excuse me y'all i am stumbling over my words i literally had to do one coat of all of the colors and it just did beautifully with just the one coat so for my ring finger, I decided to do Astro Pie. And again, the same method. If you have not tried to do the T method, I highly recommend it. It is 
so beginner friendly very easy i rarely like am disappointed in my frenches when i do this it's a few extra steps but i feel like the steps are worth it and i did learn this from vanity val that's my girl um when i saw her doing this i instantly fell in love and gave it a try and i've been doing it ever since and i love it so if you're someone that struggles with french tips i highly recommend you trying this I promise you that you will not be disappointed and I promise you, you will love your nails. So happy November, everyone. Welcome to the rest of fall. And for this month, I, I feel like I have a reset. I feel like I'm okay. I feel like I'm ready to really get back into my nails for real, for real. Um, and actually start posting like I'm supposed to. <laughs> I mean, I'm not supposed to. I don't have to, but I want to. Um, but I feel like I'm ready to start posting normally like I used to. And I know there's a lot of you that have been following me for some time, and I appreciate you all. And I know you guys miss those regular videos, but I got y'all. I got y'all set, ready to go. It's more so was about my voiceovers, but it's just me being lazy, being in my head, having a lot going on that kind of like pushed me back from nails. A lot of things have happened this year alone. Um, they kind of just threw me off of the vibe that I was on when I first started. But, you know, I, I believe I've done a reset. I, you know, sat, processed, thought about things and how I want to do things. And I feel like I'm ready now to jump back in and really get back to what I love. And that is nails and showing tutorials and just I want us to grow, flourish um, and just be great here at the Nail Addict family. Also, y'all, I was thinking about revamping and like changing my channel name. I like now she I feel like it's it's a cool vibe. But for some reason, I feel like I want to revamp and like come out with a new fresh name on all my platforms. Just kind of switch it up a little bit. Comment down below and let me know what you think about a little bit of change. I think it would be nice. And I do have a name in mind, but comment down below and let me know what you think of that. So y'all, this is another shade that I've been needing from Madam Glam was a good brown. And I finally got it. I'm so excited. So Divine Glam is what I decided to use on the pinky. And look y'all, they look so cute with just the French tips. I think it came out absolutely amazing. Like, I don't think I've ever done something like this. Like different colors on my nails but they're so fall like i just felt like it was befitting for the set so i just chose five of them and went with it So y'all, for the last and final French, I am using Scorpio Season and just completing my thumb. And again, once you see these cured, you'll see like it just looked really nice just with the fringes. So like didn't have to add anything extra and I definitely would have rocked these nails because they were so, so cute. I also decided to keep my video in real time today. Um, I don't know. I feel like I don't mind any type of nail video. So I also want to get back into watching other videos. I've been so engulfed in my life and <clears throat> excuse me, things that I have going on that I've slacked a lot on watching other videos, but I definitely used to be very faithful. So I know that I can do it and maintain my channel as well because I've done it before. And I'm definitely going to get back into that because I, I learned things from other people, T tips, tricks. Um, they might do a design I want to recreate. Like it's reasons that you should always support everyone, you know. Um, I support a lot on like Instagram, TikTok, because those those are like simpler things to support reels and like little quick videos are a lot simpler. But with the business of my life, um, these videos started getting to me like with my job. Like I would always um, look how cute y'all look. Aren't they cute with just the color? Um, so I'm going to jump back into that story in a minute, but let me just get back into the nail set real quick. So I'm using Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat, and I'm going to matte top coat all of the nails before going in with the actual design. So as I was saying, the videos used to have me so engulfed to where, I mean, I, I never gotten spoken to about it, but I know me and I know my worth that 
ethic, my productivity and stuff like that. And I would watch them while I was working and it would definitely mess with my productivity because with me in a nail video, I don't want to just hear a nail video, um, just a support type situation. I actually want to watch. I enjoy watching the techniques and how they do things. And I don't know. I just enjoy seeing a great nail set being done. So I would get caught and like stuck in video after video after video after video to the point where I'm looking at my productivity and my numbers for today. And I'm like, dang, girl, you ain't even working. So that was the real main reason, honestly, that I like kind of slacked back on watching them is because most of my time was spent watching them versus working. And I need my decades. I need my coins. I need to make this money. So I don't have time. <laughs> to be losing coins because I would prefer to watch a nail video. I mean, I love it, but honey, I got to take care of my children in my home. So it is what it is. <laughs> but anyways, after I'm at top coat, I'm going to go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. And y'all, they looked even spectacular to me, even more so better with a matte top coat. Them things is beautiful. So I'm basically now just doing a very simple sweater design. So you can do any type of sweater design. There's so many out there. But I just kind of wanted to like kick back up fall a notch. We over the Chris, uh, the Halloween hump. I wanted to get into fall because fall nails are my ish. Like I love Halloween, but this year I really wasn't in the Halloween spirit like I normally am. Like not at all. So I was relieved for October to be done and now we're in November and we're going to jump right into these fall designs. I'm so excited. So typically with a YouTuber, we do start things a little early. So we have been mixing in the fall. I've seen some Christmas sets already out there, but I got my own plans for Christmas. So, hey, y'all get y'all sets out. Do y'all thing. Have fun. But I got my own plans for Christmas. So I can definitely wait closer to the end of this month to start um, broadcasting and showcasing my Christmas sets because that's my favorite time of the year. So I basically did the design and I'm pouring over with a clear acrylic that I don't really use. I um, mean, it gives that embossed look very nice. And then I cure that for 60 seconds. So for this particular sweater design, I decided to take a dyeing tool and just make two lines side by side like so. And then I'll just continue making those lines right underneath the first two lines all the way to the free edge of this nail. Once I get the center lines placed, then I'm gonna go ahead in with that gel and like crisscross them. So I'm going like this diagonally to the next line, diagonally, and you wanna leave everything wet. So nothing gets cured. You're leaving it like that. Now, normally this type of design, I would do a line on either side of this, like straight up and down. But I just left that part out. I just want to see what it looks like without it. And I just did these swatches on the side that you normally see as well with the design. And I feel like it came out really nice. I mean, it was very simple. Um, even with the line, um, it does make a little bit of a difference. But I feel like it still looked very good. And I was still very, very pleased with it. And then once you get the design set how you want it, while the gel is still wet, you take any clear acrylic of your choice, pour over, and I normally like to pour until I don't see the gel is wet anymore. Um, to me, it feels like it, the acrylic is seeped in well enough and it'll look just like this. And then I go ahead and cure that for a full 30 to 60 seconds. And again, I'm just repeating that over the rest of the nails with the corresponding color. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you may be. And thank you so much to anyone that does take their time to watch my, our, my videos. I greatly appreciate you so much. If you're watching the video right now and you're enjoying the content, don't forget to place a like on the video before leaving and also subscribe to the channel. I would love it if you would join the family. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Nail Attic family. And I thank you so much for joining me on my nail journey. I hope you're ready to see a lot more from me because I know some of you have subscribed and I'm in and out and I haven't really been 
as consistent as I would like. But y'all about to see the regular Sheena, the normal Sheena that posts three times a week, maybe more depending if there's like a holiday or something coming up and there's an extra day, I'll throw that in. But y'all about to see the real Sheena. Um, I'm back and I'm ready to go. If you've been subscribed, then y'all already know what time it is. I love you guys more than words can say. And I'm going to tell you every video because it's the truth. Like, I have some real day ones. I got some real ones that come to every single video. And show me love and support. And that means so much to me. I can't even describe how much it means to me because there's some real loyal people out there and I really, really appreciate it. I have loyal subscribers that will repost me on Instagram all the time. Like it, it is the greatest love shown and I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'm so thankful and grateful for you all. So I'm just finishing up with the thumb and I'll just let y'all watch that for a little bit because I've been rambling this whole time or whatever, <laughs> but I'll let y'all go ahead and enjoy that. So being that this is a matte set, pretty much after I pour over the acrylic, this set is done. Um, and off camera, I applied a little bit of cuticle oil and I'll be back in just a moment with the final look. And here is the finished set. It's so, so nice. I love it. Very sleek. I would have definitely wore these. They're definitely giving fall vibes. I'm loving the colors Madame Glam has. If you guys are interested in any of the new shades, I'll link everything down below and you can use my discount code to save you some coins. Also, let me know what you think of the longer video. Did you like the longer video or would you like me to go back to like where I kind of like speed up sections of the video i feel like this wasn't too long but like if i edit a video and it's like already 30 minutes i'm definitely gonna you know fast forward some of it because yeah that's a i mean it's fine for me but i just want to keep everyone's attention so comment down below, below and let me know <laughs> and if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe and i thank you so much for being here remember to be the best you that you can be and much love to you all.